Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 36 of Hack Attack. I, of course, am John. I'm the stream producer. For those who don't know me, hello. Uh, some of you, well, as I got pointed out in chat earlier, might know me from StarCraft. Whoever you are, wherever you're from, welcome to the Halftime Show. And we're here to attempt to play slightly better than Tom did uh, at pretty much any stage of the game uh, in... Uh, uh, this particular halftime segment. Right now I'm playing a Dutch. Tom's been afraid to play one uh, so far because he did horribly in Bill Bow with it. I'm going to go ahead and say I don't mind. Now, what direction am I going with this? I don't know. Oh well, knight out to c6 can never be that terrible move. Let's go ahead and move the queen out to e8, getting ready to stick it on that nice juicy h5 square. But before we do that, Let's go ahead and plonk in an e5. I'm going to be honest, so far this Dutch is feeling pretty good. He pushes the pawn, I push mine up to f4, and now suddenly uh, that little kingside area there is looking awfully breezy. Um, what do I want to do with this knight? That's a good question. I suppose technically taking a knot just leaves him with awkward pawn. Um, but if I take it off, I'm not sure I want to waste the time taking it off. He takes there. I kind of have to. Oh, that's frustrating. Isn't that frustrating, folks? It's frustrating. Um, you know what? I'm going to temporarily place this bishop here. There's an idea behind it. It's probably a bad one, but let's find out what happens. If he takes that knight, I'm going to play rook takes and just swing everything across. Um, okay, now he's getting annoying, so let's force him to take something. The idea is to rook take, swing everything across, get the... Wow, this guy really doesn't care. Okay. Now I swing everything across. Let's go, man! Oh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, let me see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Nope, I'm taking that. And I might be in a little bit of trouble. So let's go ahead and pretend all of these were good moves. And play the knight back. There. Uh, in the meantime. Let's attempt. Right, alright. Enough's enough. Time for some good old fashioned hacking. I'm not really sure what's going on at the moment. And I probably need to find out at some point soon. So let's go ahead and move that back there. You can take it if you want, mate, but I am definitely coming for you if you do. Okay, he's choosing not to take it, but he might be getting a bit late with it, because here comes the cavalry. Alright, he's found a check. I am not terribly concerned that he's found a check. Oh, he's found a... Uh... Wait, is that even a move? Does that work? What's he doing here? I don't know. I don't know, question mark. Let's go ahead and pile some more pieces vaguely into the direction of his position. Uh, I have a decent number of pieces pointing at his king. I just need something to finish it off, like basically not terrible moves. Oh, hello. Is that a terrible move? He can't take that with check. He can take the knight, so I basically have to finish him off very quickly if I do that. If I play knight takes, he plays takes the knight. Oh, is this going to work? I don't know. I'm taking that knight first. And claiming that I at least have the draw. Do I want to be... Oh, I don't want to use the draw! There must be some... Wait, what am I talking about? I have, I have a rook. He can take the rook, but then I've got another rook. What am I doing?! I have r rooks are good pieces, Tom. Yay! I, I was hoping to point that out after the game, but you spotted it. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! Game number one. And I think with 26 seconds left, I even with pre-move, I think I'm doing reasonably well. Bam! That To quote Tom, that was my plan all along. Now, let's go ahead and hopefully hop into everybody's favorite French exchange. No, it's not going to be. That's slightly unfortunate, but I don't mind. Let's shove some pieces into the middle of the board, see what happens. And, ooh, where are we going? Let's go here. I, 
I officially have no idea what I'm doing. All right, that's getting taken. That's cool. Uh, I have I have two bishops. Therefore, I win it every. Pretty sure Tom said that once. Um, so I'm not terribly worried about. Ooh, hang on. Let's go ahead and give him a little check. Don't really need bishops, do we? Oh well. Okay. He castles. I castles. I have a doubled f pawn. Uh, oh, hello. That looks vaguely menacing. Um, fortunately, not too worried. Fortunately, not too worried. Right, I'm gonna have to start swapping stuff off soon, because I feel like I'm getting a bit cramped. I kind of wanted to play c3 and nab that pawn off. I obviously can't do that. So, uh, where am I going? Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to play the check and bring my bishop out to e4. And then, well, and then either take the rook or I was going to play c3, but I guess I'm not doing that anymore. Um, queen f3, that's a fun move. Watch out for the knight. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Insert some witty comment here. Tom's shaking his head off uh, off to the left out of camera shot. You can't see that. I wish I could say this was gin and tonic, but it really isn't. I'd be half asleep by now if it was. It's been quite a long day. And where are we going with this? Well, he can go ahead and start pawn nabbing. I think I'm going to start stacking my rooks. And uh, playing vaguely in the style of hack attack. Oh, he's not even going for that. Okay. Um... I still feel vaguely comfortable with this until he does things like that. Oh, would you stop forcing me to play moves? He could also have played, of course, knight d4. But I think I had a queen in... No, I didn't have a queen into somewhere. He would have just won an exchange. So don't worry about me. Herp de derp And I feel that's a statement of intent, if ever there was one. Um, Okay. So, where am I going? This should not be difficult. At all. Let's give my king an escape square and work out where I'm going. I want to get onto a light square. And... Quite conveniently, he's giving me one. I Really, I just want to get the queen to e4, and he's making life slightly difficult. And I think I've accidentally forced him to swap queens. Whoopsie-daisy. That's not actually what I wanted, but that'll do. Um... Let's go ahead and swap that off and play c3. Sorry guys, this has become slightly boring. Definitely not in the spirit of hack attack. Take the knight! You what? I'm so confused. Oh! Oh, I could have taken a knight! Oh, now I see! Don't worry about it. Don't need it. Don't need it. I can't quite win outright if I take it now, can I? One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. No, no, I definitely can't. Guys, don't, don't do what I almost just did. Uh, yeah, go on. Let's take everything. Let's play a little game. A slightly dangerous, you might have a C pawn kind of game. But let's play a little game. A very, very dangerous game. He gets out of the way, I take that. Oh, I've got 39 seconds and I actually have to... I have to annoyingly calculate something. Don't like that. Go for a mating attack. Mating attack. That would be quite fun, wouldn't it? Now, if I do that... Ah! I can't with 30 seconds, Tom. Oh, hello. That's frustrating. Can I do this? No! No, I cannot! He says, enthusiastically. This is what happens when I, uh when I can't think of things like moves. Right, if I do this now, then he forks me. 
Oh, or he plays B2 and I'm screwed. But luckily he didn't see that. So I'm going to play G5, I think. Okay. Eight seconds left. This isn't good. I think I can pre-move that. I'm looking for squares from which he can take my rook. There aren't any. Oh, I've got the knight as well! If anyone's wondering why I'm going a very long way round, we play on a very big screen and it takes an awful long time for me to pre-move. So I'm just being very careful. Very, very careful. Come on! There we go. 3.8 seconds. Yay! That that ended up being somewhat entertaining from a position yeah. where. Can we go back? It was in. It was interesting. Oh oh. When Tom says interesting, I no longer believe him. Where are we going back to, Tom? Well, around about the point he played B three as a ballpark. Uh, I don't like where you're going with this, but sure. Uh, I think I might have gone quite a long. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so, so yeah, go back one more move. Okay. So, I feel like... Uh, Rook takes e2? Well, uh, g g given that I don't mm. calculate, it feels harsh asking you to calculate this ending, but is white winning after rook takes c2? Rook takes, knight takes, king takes, he gets two tempi before I take a b4, so he gets his king out to g5 for free, my king's on b4... Let's say I play g3 at that point. Should we, should, should we play it out? You can I'm, play, I'm not you, losing. You, you can play white's moves. I don't... I'm, I'm in, interested. So it takes, takes, takes... So I'll go king g6. Yeah. There. Okay, I would have played f4 in, in, if I was white at that, but okay, king g5. Oh, okay. And here I'd probably play g3. Okay. Uh, um, Is white um, winning what, this what, position, um, Tom? What, yeah, well, I think white's just winning... Because the king... Yeah, maybe. This king, isn't The king simple. doesn't have time to go king f6, king b4, king And this f5. was before I got into time trouble yeah, as well. Yeah, the king doesn't even make it to d4. So it's... Uh, it's a, yeah, it's this a very, is... It's a very easy... Can break. he do something with his pawns, though, to break it open and force a draw? No. No. Say that, for example. Yeah, I take it. And then king takes... Uh, no, yeah, king, that doesn't king's... really work, does yeah, it? Well, yeah, yeah, that's that doesn't work at all. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah. I I, I want credit for spotting it when you told me uh, where to go back to, maybe. But uh, to be fair, given that's more or less the only uh, interesting move I could play other than Brook takes h6, maybe not. Are you playing one more? Or? Uh, yeah, I'll go on. I'll have one more. I'll give Tom an extra long break tonight. Guys, if you want uh, to go ahead and hand in suggestions for what Tom's going to be playing in the second half of the show, yes, he's going to be casting on the opposite sides of the board, but are there particular openings you want him to get into? Is there a particular piece you desperately want to see Tom sacrifice that hopefully isn't once again his king? Um, let me know. I'm at Hong Kong John. I'm monitoring the Twitter feed for the show during the time in which Tom is playing. And as you guys know, I have absolutely no problem whatsoever in just shouting stuff out to him midstream. So uh, I'm really tempted to play H4 next because yes, yes, let's do this. Let's do this. All right. Looks like something I would play. Yeehaw! Okay, I have made a lot of queen moves. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I also have no idea what's going on, not gonna lie, but I feel like at this point that's acceptable. Possibly. Don't know what this guy's doing. Can I get away with playing c4, but then which side of the board am I castling on? Do I even care? I forgot to ask myself this critical question. Okay, he found a check. Credits to my opponent. He found ye old check.
I can't play that because he's got knight in there. So let's be patient. I'm not playing d5, guys. Not yet. Okay. He wants to do something. Again, I don't know what. But I suspect we're about to find out. I my I feel like my position's vaguely solid. I also have no clue what's going on. This needs to be said. Uh, where can that knight go that's useful? Nowhere fast by the looks of things. What is going on? This feels like the kind of game Rendell would play, or some other just ridiculous. Right, I'm trying to go king's side, and I'm just going to play some Hail Mary pawn shoving. I think that's a thing, right? They call it hack attack. So uh, let's go ahead and give that a go. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to take my knight. He might not, though. And that's all very well and good, but now can I get away with playing d5? That is the question. In fact, why do I wait for answers? I have seen an interesting move. I am going to play an interesting move. What is going to happen now? He's going to give me a knight. Give me a knight. So uh, that's what happens when interesting moves. In case anybody wanted to know, back at home. Don't try this at home, kids. Do, 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 do. I could chop off that knight, but I have a light squared bishop. That light squared bishop's about to give a check. That resulting check is going to mean he, wow, really doesn't castle. Let's go ahead and do that and threaten discovered check as well. Oh, hello. He's taken something. What was that? It was a knight. I knew that. Uh, right. Um, let's go ahead and shove some pawns at him. How did I? Don't answer that question. Oh dear. Oh me oh my. Alright. Let's up the stakes. Does that work? No, that doesn't work. He takes the other night. <laughs> you can take the rook with check first. <laughs> Watch out! The queen's under attack! He's panicking right now. Uh, oh, he's not panicking anymore. He was panicking though, I assure you. Um... Well, this is awkward. Oh, it's all right. No, it's not. No, no, it's really not. <laughs> He's so confused. I don't know what to take first. None of this makes any sense. Oh, he found it. All right. That's it. We're, I'm out. We're, we're gonna we're gonna go back. No, we're not gonna go we're gonna back. Go back to the interesting moment in the game. The, the when you played the interesting move. When I played the interesting move. Okay. Yeah, the interesting move, which was very very good. Okay, we're going back. I heard the interesting move that was very. What was the interesting move? There was the interesting move. Yeah. Okay, and then I know he took on d5. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna move the mic slightly closer. Tommy, you just scoot up, mate. Yeah. Come 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 into shot. All is well. Oh my goodness, all is well with the world. I didn't realise we could both fit in this shot. You guys should see... Like, if you guys aren't entertained by that game, then I definitely played it for no reason at all. Right, okay, he took. Uh, presumably taking back is just fine. Yeah, yeah. Queen and d7. The, the, fu the funny thing was that queen, queen d7 left the knight on pre on e4, and... Oh, stop it! But yeah, bishop v5 is a... But I saw... Yeah, but this involves, you know, having to trade a piece. This is just a free piece, Tom. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. But but <laughs> that that queen on d7 took your entire army. <laughs> it took... It, took, it, took, it did more or it, less do exactly that, didn't you, it? You could have won it. And then we're, let's... I think we should we should carry on through the game and see what the queen picks up. Um, it's how like, do we go back to the original version of the game? Does it just do that now? Ah, oh, you can. I can remember the original version of the game. Will it continue? Why won't it continue doing this now? Ah, uh, because we've overwritten. I think. Oh, okay. All right, you're gonna have to give me the moves then. Ah, uh, it was queen queen f five here. All right, let's see. Wait, bishop b five check. I was paying attention. King f seven. Uh, d six check. Bishop e six. Yeah, I forgot about that bishop. 
bishop c f- hang on this isn't right at all is it wait you didn't go d6 check did you no i moved i moved the um i did go d6 check but i, I moved the queen at this point i think oh go go back didn't i go back and move you left the the knight on pre on f3 uh how did you manage to do that what what on earth move? You played bishop d3, that was it. You thought you were being clever. And oh, yeah, yeah, I was being super clever. Yeah, That's and then right. you... So there, there goes the first d6. piece. And then bishop... Bishop out, oh, oh. And then yeah. it, it's all right because, you know, we'll up the stakes. <laughs> Takes the rook. Yeah, so so far it's taken a, uh, a knight, a rook. A... King up, and now he can't go back to f3 because, yeah. you know, this queen desperately wants to be back on the f3 square. Then he goes ahead and rudely takes that off as well. Yeah. And, uh, and 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 then <laughs> then he read queen takes b7, which, which successfully confused him into playing the check first. Or, yeah. or maybe that was a sign he wasn't very confused. Yeah. And then you moved the king, and he took the queen. Mm. So so the you the had, total number so, of pieces. Yeah, you had the option to win the queen for the bishop, but instead you didn't win the queen, and you gave away both knights, a rook, a rook, and your queen. And my queen. <laughs> I feels like I, I should probably step back in. I feel like I, I feel like I've laid the groundwork really well for the second half of the show. <laughs> All right, guys, Hack Attack will be right back with this gen here, International Master Thomas Rendell. Don't go anywhere. It'll be just a quick break. See you later.